these beautiful purple flowers. Mmm, they smell so good. And rocks. Oh, these are fun to jump on. Yeah. And look at that beautiful waterfall. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, hi, zookeepers. You know, Ala, you now was right. I just need to slow down and enjoy the beauty of the zoo. Don't you think it's beautiful? So welcome to the Zoo Crew Alphabet Show. Today, we're gonna to learn about you nows. And you nows are a type of sloth. And you know sloths, they are so slow. And we're gonna learn about the letter U. Now, do you know what habitat I'm in? Hmm, just look around. Okay, well, I'm gonna get my zoo map and you can guess which habitat I'm in. So, hey, Ulla, can you hand me my zoo map? It's Ulla, you now. All right. Okay, she's so slow. Okay, thanks. All right, thank you, Ulla. Woo, okay, because you know, she's a sloth. All right, so do you think we're in the savanna habitat? Hmm. Or do you think we're in the farm habitat? Or do you think we're in the jungle habitat? What do you think? You're right, we're in the jungle habitat. And now let's hear from zookeeper Zach to get us started on our zoo adventure today. Hello zookeepers, welcome to our zoo. Now let me tell you, you've never seen animals like these before. We call them the zoo crew. And I'm gonna introduce you to them one by one in alphabetical order. You guys ready to meet them? Are you ready to meet Ella you now? Okay. Oh, I love the flowers in your hair, Gertie. Mm -hmm. Did you get that on the walk we did today? Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Aren't they pretty? They are pretty. I know they look so beautiful in my hair, don't they? <laughs> they look awesome. Yeah. You know, I would have missed even seeing these flowers if I didn't listen to Ulla to slow down mm -hmm. and be patient. Yeah. I was rushing around everywhere to get to snack time. Yes, you were. Uh -huh. You love to rush for snack time. Yeah. Yeah, it was good that we slowed down today and we uh -huh. were patient and we really enjoyed uh -huh. our time out there today. So... Let's meet Ulla U now. Okay. I have my magic letter U card. And let's see her. Ooh. Ooh yeah. <laughs> hey, Ulla. Well, she's hanging upside down mm -hmm. on the tree. Now, did you know there are a lot of different kinds of sloths? And she's a U now. Mm -hmm. And what's different is that she has two toes in the front and three toes in the back. Wow. Ooh, I lost her. There she is. Mm -hmm. Okay, now did you hear the sound that she made? Yeah. Can you make that sound, Gertie? I think so. All right, let's hear it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was that, that good? That's not bad. Mm -hmm. How about you, zookeepers? Can you try? <gasps> oh, yeah, that's a mm -hmm. real good one. Yeah. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> okay. And we know that letters make sounds too. So let's go to her name, Ulla, and listen for the beginning sound. Ulla, you now. Okay, Gertie. Ulla, you now. You want to touch, go ahead and touch her name, Ulla. Ulla. Ulla, uh, uh, Ulla. That's right. Ulla. And what mm -hmm. other words start with a? Uh? Hmm, umbrella. Mm -hmm. Umbrella. Underwear, <laughs> underwear. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, that's the sound I make when I'm thinking. Ah, uh, uh, that's true. Uh, uh, uh <laughs> okay. And what letter makes the sound ah? Uh? The letter U. That's right, the letter U. So let's learn more about the letter U. 
It's time for uppercase, lowercase uppercase game. game. Okay, are we ready, zookeepers and Gertie? Mm -hmm. Is this the uppercase letter U or, or the, the lowercase lower letter U? U? It you? looks like the uppercase letter U. You're right. Mm -hmm. It's the uppercase letter U. Yeah. Let's see what a lowercase letter U looks like. Yeah. Hmm, it's a little smaller. Mm -hmm. It's it somewhat is. similar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's a lowercase U. Now, the letter U has two sounds. We already learned about the short vowel sound. Mm -hmm. uh. Uh, uh, like an ala. Uh. And the second sound is the long vowel sound. U. U, you. like in you now. Mm hmm. Uh, uh, ala. Mm hmm. And you, you, you now. Well, let's go to her name. Ala, you now. And you can do your letter sound song. Yeah. Letter sound song. Ooh. I'm so excited. <laughs> so it goes uh uh ala mm -hmm. you 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 now. Mm -hmm. Short you uh long you you uh uh ala you 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 now. Short <laughs> you uh long you you. Yeah. Wow, that was fantastic, Gertie. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Let's learn more about you nows. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a fun fact. Did you know that mother you nows give birth to their babies while hanging upside down in a tree? What? <laughs> oh, my goodness. That yeah. is a fun and interesting fact. It is. Wow. Now, do you know what a baby you now is called? Hmm. Okay, well, this one's tricky mm -hmm. because this time we have at least three names for the baby. What? It could be called a cub, mm -hmm. could be called a pup, hmm. or a baby sloth. Hmm. So for wow. our show, I think we're just going to go with baby sloth. That one's easy to remember. Yeah, baby sloth. Okay, now how long do you think they can live? Hmm. Can they live about five years? Hmm. Can they live about 30 years? Hmm. Or can they live about 100 years? Huh. What do you think? Well, I'll say about 30. That's right in the middle. You're right. It's 30 mm -hmm. years. Yeah. Very good. Now, I have my magic video field card. card. We're going to go on a virtual field trip and oh, goody. see more you nows and slots. Yay. Okay, now this is actually a sloth because this is Ulla's friend. Oh. And she has three toes. Three toes? On the front. Mm hmm. Hmm. And she has long eye markings too. I don't know if you can see that. See hmm. right there? Yeah. Brown marking. So there we are in the jungle. Okay, zookeepers, you know what time it is? It's story time! It's story time, it's story time. We love it when our stories rhyme. Another animal from our zoo. It's so much fun for me and you. Get comfy. Yeah, comfy. Okay, zookeepers, let's read our story. So here's the title. Ulla You Now Takes Her Time. And it's written by L.A. Rickinson and illustrated by Ryan Sellers. And there she is, smelling a flower. So what do we think this story is going to be about? Flowers. <laughs> well, let's see. Ulla you now moves so slowly, like all you nows do. She takes her time and doesn't miss the beauty in the zoo. She stops to smell the roses and she feels the summer breeze. Ah. She even tastes the dewdrops that are resting on the leaves. Like hmm. all the sloths, her favorite thing is hanging in the shade. There she sees all the things that were wonderfully made. Aww. Her friends are always rushing and racing through their day. They go so fast, they go right past the magic on their way. Wow. Well, here's our picture. 
And there's Ulla hanging in her tree, smelling her flower. Mm -hmm. Looks like a rose. And there's Henry and James rushing and running around. I think they're missing all the beauty in the zoo. Yeah. Like all the cool rocks and the mountains, all kinds of things. Well, hey, Gertie, hmm. why do you think it's good to be patient? Well, hmm. you know, when we are getting ready to go on our walks around the zoo, mm -hmm. you're patient with me. I try. Yeah, I mean, it takes me longer to get ready because I have to put on four shoes. Mm, that's true. <laughs> and you only have to put on two shoes. Mm -hmm. So when you're patient with me, it really helps me to stay calm mm -hmm. and I can get ready faster. Mm. And then we can get on with the fun. You're right. Mm -hmm. I always try to be patient because it helps us all stay calm and not mm -hmm. get flustered. Right. It's true. Well, it's true. Thanks for sharing that, Gertie. You're welcome. Well, now it's time to see if you remember what I read in the story. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what Ulla you now smelled? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you three choices. Okay. Did she smell roses? Hmm. Did she smell raspberries? Raspberries. Or hmm. did she smell rocks? What do Rock you think? Rock smell? <laughs> what hmm. do you think? I'll pick the roses, of course. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. It was roses. Okay. Well, you guys can also have your own story. There's a link in the description below, and you can download it, mm -hmm. print it, read it and yep. even color it. Coloring's fun. <laughs> Let's do our zoo review. review. Okay, well today we learned about you now. That's right. And what habitat do you nows live in? The jungle. Mm -hmm. And what is a baby you now called? A mm. baby sloth. Right, on our show we call them baby sloths. Yeah. And we learned about the uppercase letter U and, and the, the lowercase, lowercase letter, letter U. U. And also the letter U has two sounds. That's like, right. Like in her name. Ala mm -hmm. you now. Uh uh Ala. You, you, you now. Mm -hmm, really mm -hmm. fantastic. Yeah. And we made a new friend. A la uh, you, you now. now. And we also learned it's good to slow down and be patient. So join us for our next show. Mm -hmm. We're going to learn about the letter V. And what animal do you think starts with the letter V? Hmm. Mm, okay. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and share it with all your friends. All your friends. See you next time. See you next time. We've made it all the way through our most lively zoo crew. And it was so nice to meet you. And now you know what they do. If you have any question, you can repeat this lesson. And you can keep learning, friends. Ah, learning never ends.